Going to follow that breaking news from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Officials there declaring a state of emergency following a night of unrest. And it's all after a police officer shot an unarmed man as he got into an SUV with three young children. That shooting has been captured on video. WGN's Mike Lowe is live in Kenosha with the latest. Mike. Micah and Sean, good evening to both of you. After a night of unrest that saw property being vandalized and some municipal vehicles being set on fire, we've had another very tense day here in Kenosha after an unarmed man was shot. Of course, that video of him being shot was shared widely on the internet and on social media. The video lasts about 20 seconds. It starts as 29-year-old Jacob Blake walks around the front of a parked silver SUV. Police officers are following him with their guns drawn, and once Blake opens the door, officers fire at least seven shots toward Blake's back. Officers say they were responding to a domestic violence call, but activists describe Blake as a good Samaritan who had broken up a fight between two people. The corner of 40th Street and 28th Avenue in Kenosha is the center of an ongoing national discussion about race and policing. I've lived here 14, 15 years of my life. Probably. But for Aaron Camposano, it's the corner where he lives. If it was probably somebody that was white, they probably would have just dragged him from his hand and took him out of his you know, car and threw him on the ground. And the shooting of Jacob Blake inflamed Kenosha and set off a night of unrest. At the scene of the shooting, activists staged a news conference to denounce police brutality. Asking for the arrest and prosecution of the two officers who shot an unarmed man with two children in the car. We, as in black people, are tired of the police always attacking us. Before